everyone can afford a direct flight to the UK. Direct flights are really expensive and it's not everybody that have the same financial pockets to say they can afford it. So some people usually go through flights that are not direct and find themselves in the UK, basically. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about flights that you should consider using if you have an African passport just so that you do not have rejections at the airport when you go fly from your home country to the UK just because you did not know that a transit visa is required in the country that you are having a layover at, okay? So, welcome to the channel. If you're just seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mercy and I'm a nurse currently practicing in the UK. And on this channel, we talk about nursing, migration, updates on the UK, lifestyle vlogs. And I hope you find this valuable enough to stick around, like it, share it, subscribe, turn on the notification bell as well, just so that you will be notified when I put out a new content on this channel. And I want to say thank you so much to my returning subscribers. You guys are really amazing. God bless you. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So it's that time of the year again where a lot of people travel. So students are resuming September cohorts, even October, they are still coming in and they need to book their flights. Members are coming in to meet their families, dependents are coming to meet their families, their loved ones. It's Christmas season. People are traveling. You understand? So it's that time of the year again where people get to fly from one place to another. And you will find this video really, really beneficial. So ensure that you stick to the end. Okay? I'm going to start with direct flights to the uk so british airways that's the number one on my list it is the direct flight that you can use from your home country to the uk especially from nigeria i prefer british airways because it is comfortable i don't know about other people i would love to hear your comments in the section so i prefer british airways is direct six and a half hours you are in the uk it's not as stressful as those other flights that you would have to do hours laying over in your country the second on my list is virgin atlantica so with this one it is direct flight as well and you will find yourself in london okay now the next couple of airlines i'm going to be talking about are not direct flights but they do not require transit visas okay these are flights that you would have to lay over in the country of this airline <laughs> and then stay for a couple of hours before you would continue your journey to the uk the first on the list is emirates i remember when i was moving to the uk in november 2020 it was emirates that i went with but now, of recent, Emirates do not fly from Nigeria at the moment. I'm hoping that is rectified soon. But for people who are using Emirates from their home country, there is a layover in Dubai where you would have to stay for a couple of hours first before you continue your journey to the UK. So Emirates, you do not require a transit visa. Airline number two in this category would be Qatar Airways. So Qatar, you would have to lay over at the Hamad International Airport in Doha and you would lay over for a couple of hours first before you continue your journey to the UK. So guys, the third airline in this category is going to be Ethiopian Airways. These airline lay over at Addis Ababa International Airport so you would stay at the airport for a couple of hours first before you continue your journey to the UK this does not require transit visa so the fourth in this category is going to be Egypt Air a lot of people say Egypt Air is very cheap so you have a look when you are flying and let me know if that is true Egypt Air would lay over at 
the Cairo International Airport. Some people say that when they used Egypt Air and they were laying over, the airline provided them with accommodation for less than 24 hours, you understand? Not over 24 hours, for less than 24 hours. They were provided with accommodation just to rest their heads because it's like overnight. And then when it was time to continue with their journey, they continued and found themselves in the uk so egypt air is something you would want to consider if you are going through another country that you are transiting to the uk the next in this category is going to be turkish airways so when i was moving to the uk in november 2020 some of my colleagues came in through turkish airways and the layover was at istanbul from istanbul to the uk it's not too far it's just a couple of hours and you would find yourself in the uk so turkish airways is another airline to consider there is also royal maroc that lays over in morocco and then you would continue your journey to the uk so the next lot of airlines I'm going to be mentioning are the ones that require transit visa. Bear it in mind that if you are going through any airline that goes through any European country, you would need a transit visa if you are not exempt. So as someone coming in from Africa, you definitely would need a transit visa, okay? If you are not exempted, you would need a transit visa. And that's like you applying for two visas, which is something that you can save yourself that trouble. So bear it in mind that if you are going through Lufthansa, Lufthansa, you will need a transit visa. So I'll be giving you an example. A friend of mine was supposed to fly with Lufthansa and this person didn't know that transit visa was required. On the day of the trip, they went to the airport and couldn't fly because they needed a transit visa that was not available. So what had to be done was a visa application needed to be made and the visa was approved thank the lord and then they were able to fly so if you are going with lufthansa you will need a transit visa because you are laying over at frankfurt international airport if you are traveling with klm you will need a transit visa as well because you are transiting at Amsterdam. If you are traveling with Air France, you would need a transit visa as well because you are transiting at France. So you need to be knowledgeable about this. Something you can do is when you want to book your flight, have a look at the details of the airline see if they require a transit visa or not see what their precautions need to be if you need a yellow card if you need covid vaccine details if you need any registration you need to have a look do your due diligence and ensure that you are dotting your i's and crossing your t's and do not find yourself in a situation where you would say had dying on so this is me just bringing to you the list of airlines that you can consider to prevent you from having rejections at the airport and to prevent you from being stressed on your day of your flight so ensure that you do your due diligence as well so like i said there are flights that are direct there are flights that do not require transit visas but they are not direct and there are flights that require transit visas as well so if you have gotten to this end god bless you for watching to this extent and i hope you have liked it you've shared you've subscribed and you've turned on your notification bell as well so you will be notified when i put out a new content and until the next time keep being amazing and have a good day